Hey, what's up you guys? Short is Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video. It has been a little while since I've done a P.O. Box Pickup video. Uh, before I get to opening some packages, uh, how you guys doing, huh? Well, I'm just waiting for you to type it out, you know. Done yet? Damn, dude, you're hella slow. Jeez. No, anyway, I uh, just wanted to ask how you guys are doing. I just wanted to say, uh, for any of you guys over in the UK, if you have the opportunity to go to Star Wars Celebration, take it! Alright, go! It was fun. I had a blast at Star Wars Celebration. Lovely Charlita One and I went down there, got to stay at Zach Helsing's place, my boy Zach Helsing. And then Sean Long was there, got to hang out with a bunch of YouTubers, uh, Andre Black Nerd Comedy, Chad and Angie Screen Team, they're awesome. Uh, got to meet Lauren too, she was really cool. So it was just a really fun time over there. Um, and we, in and the, the convention itself was just so well put together. I just have to say, the panels were fantastic. Uh, the panels that I went to, I only went to the Anthony Daniels and the Mark Hamill panels. Amazing. Um, just even in between the panels and stuff, like they had, like the entertainment between them was fantastic. Uh, it's just a great show. Just the way the floor was laid out. There's a cantina. You're only allowed to be in the cantina if you're in uh, Star Wars cosplay, which I thought was great. They had a Rancor there. Uh, they had that toaster speeder thing that the that the girl rides in the Force Awakens trailer. Just the whole vibe around the place was. It's just everybody was ecstatic from that first trailer or from the second trailer. I mean, we you know with you know the you know we're home. You know everybody was just freaking out. It was good to see all the people from the companies again. Everybody, everybody, you know, for I got like the guys from Kotobukiya and the guys from Bluefin Tamashi Nations. Um, the, the people at the sideshow, but like everybody was just freaking out, just like geeking out over this thing. It was just really awesome. So if you have a chance to go to a Star Wars celebration, take it. Uh, I'm actually just a little sad that it's taken this long for, uh, for me to go to one, and I want to thank Jedi Insider for making that possible, so uh, I'll put a link in the description below to Jedi Insider, just give that friendly shout out. Uh, anyway, so, we got some letters in the mail over here, um, and oh yeah, the, the showroom with all the, I know, I feel like I'm talking about Star Wars Celebration hella late, but it was really cool. The, the showroom that showed all the Episode 7 stuff was awesome, too. The, just seeing all that, like, the Flame Trooper and the Snow Trooper, like, face-to-face, -face, that was really sick. Okay, this is from Nick from Ohio. And, ooh, we get orange paper. Orange? What's wrong with me? I'm not colorblind. Green paper! Wow. All right. Dear Shermis Prime, my name is Nick, and you are by far the best YouTuber I watch. Damn, that, that, that's awesome, thank you. Uh, I especially love your Marvel and Hot Toys figure reviews. I have a few questions. What is your favorite comic book based, or uh, comic based TV show? Uh, it's been a while, it's been The Walking Dead for a long time, but right now I gotta say Daredevil. Daredevil's just killed it to me. I mean, it's just, yeah, I already did my review on Daredevil. You may have sent this before I posted my review. Uh, what do you recommend as my first Hot Toy figure? Ooh, dude, that that's all on you, man. That's all that all depends on who your favorite character is. But if you're just like a fan of Marvel, I mean, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man Two Spider-Man figure, I think, is really good. I, I think if I were to just pick one right now, and I think that one's still for sale. I don't think that one's shot up in price or anything like that. I don't know for sure, but I think that's still reasonable priced figure that I think is very good. I still really like that figure. Uh, I'm going to SCCC this year, and I'm curious if you know how to set the Marvel Legends exclusive, or how to get the Marvel Legends exclusives at Comic-Con. Alright, so, and, uh, yeah, and that's it. Cool, three questions. I like that you guys are keeping them to three questions. So, the San Diego Comic-Con thing is very complicated. You have to get in line, you have to get in line very early to get a voucher, and then that voucher allows you to get into another line, and then, you, but you have to come back on a different time, or I think it's a different day. So you come back the next day, or later that afternoon, I think it's the next day, and then you get into another line with that voucher, and then you can buy your stuff. So, that, that's basically it. You get in the voucher line, and then you get in the toy line. So, that's how it works. Alright, this is from Chris from Pomona, California. I've played Pomona before. What was the place called? The Gaslight? No, not the Gaslighter. Something like that, though. Damn it, that was a long time ago. That was Ice Cat's first show. Um... Alright, and we have no crazy colored paper over here, man. What the hell, man? I'm so bummed out. I'm just kidding. Anyway, oh wait, we got some shard art. Oh man, I love it. Okay, it says, Dear Shardimus Prime, my name is Chris, 
and my YouTube channel is Cosmic Joker Dude. The first video that I have ever saw from your channel is the Marvel Legends Build a Figure Blob. That was years. Oh God, the Blob review. Uh, that was during my during my smack talking days. Uh, that was years ago on my old channel. That video is hilarious. That is what the picture I drew you based off of. It's an idea for a comic book cover for Shardimus Prime. You inspired me to make my channel. My old channel was really stupid, so that's why I made this new one. I love watching your daily videos. I watch all of them, even the ones that doesn't interest me. Back to my drawing. I'm pretty sure you get it. You made fun of Luthug, and in my drawing, I gave him powers. He turned you into Blob. I think it's hilarious. Rest in peace, Luthug. Anyways, thanks for reading my letter, and I hope you continue to make videos even in your old days. Ha ha ha. Uh, sincerely, Cosmic Joker Dude. I got a few questions. Will you be watching Fear the Walking Dead? Watching Fear the Walking Dead? Is this a Walking Dead movie I don't know of? Uh, do you have faith in the Fantastic Four, Four film? I do have faith in it. I, I hope it's okay. That's what I'm at. Okay is what I'm shooting for. Uh, does Big Bad Toy Store give you a tracking number when you order something? Uh, yes, they do. They, they should have a tracking number there. And it says peace. And then over here, wow. Damn, he went and did it. He made Loot Thug all skinny, and then he made me all, all fat like the blob. That is too funny. Um, I'm probably going to forget to put a description, in the, uh, uh, a description to this video. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shoot, yeah. My, yeah, my old friend Lou Thug who passed away. Um, yeah, so him and I used to, to, to razz each other going back and forth. And in this, and in the video, in the blob figure review, uh, you, you should check it out. But I start, uh, do, I do an impersonation of Lou Thug. And then I do this whole thing where I start eating food uh, from behind the camera. And, <laughs> and I don't know, I'm just, I'm just ripping on the guy. Um, yeah, that, that was a long time ago. That was year one, I think. Year one Shardimus Prime videos. Anyway, uh, this is to Jack, and I would be surprised how many people have come up to me actually in person and saying, like, hey, rest in peace, Luke Thug, man. Yeah, because uh, losing that guy kind of hurt, you know? So, yeah. I don't know, it always sucks when people die, right? Anyway, uh, coming over here. What is this? Oh, I didn't even read who, who this is from. Oh, yeah, Jack, I did say. Wow, wow, a lot of shard art today. Nice. To Shardimus Prime. This is cool. Classic Wolverine, classic suit Spider-Man. Yeah, look at that. A lot of nice colors in there. Very cool, man. Nice. And on the back it says here, uh, Dear Shardimus Prime, I hope that you keep on making more videos and you're doing a great job at it. I'm a big fan of yours and I've started collecting toys the first time I saw your videos. You, you're one of my top three YouTubers and... The other two are uh, Vas, uh, I think it's Va Vangelis, I don't know, and Toby Games, Vanos Gaming and Tony Toby Games. Okay, from Jack. Uh, my three questions are: What is your favorite Marvel Hot Toys, and why? It's a toss-up between my first Avenger, Captain America, and my Hot Toys Hulk. Uh, the other one is, what set in Hulk is my favorite Avenger, uh, but Cap, uh, I really like that first Avenger Cap uh, suit. Uh, what got you into collecting toys, and were you embarrassed collecting them in front of other people? I'm not going to lie, yeah, I've, had, I've been embarrassed many times, but it just never stopped me, so I don't have that much shame. Um, I recently went to a family party, and like, my cousin's... I remember my cousin Melissa was telling my wife, like, he's just always been like this. Like, he's just always collected these things. Like, he's always had, like, he, like just wanted to buy a lot of toys. I used to have, like, way back in the day at my parents' house, like, you know, like, even through high school and stuff, I had this wall full of mint on card Power of the Force figures and stuff. So that's that's really how I got into collecting. Uh, that, that was the first time it was different from, you know, just playing with toys, you know. And the last one, quick one, is when you get old, will you sell your toys or give them away? I don't know yet, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out. And I've, I've got a drawing on the other on the back. Keep up the good work, Shardimus Prime. Right on, man. Thank you very much. I have thought about it, though. It's good to think about what happens to your stuff um, after you're gone, you know what I mean? I don't know, donations or something, or, or it could be sold, depending, you know, hopefully, you know, I pass with kids around, you know what I mean? So hopefully, I don't know, they might be able to sell them and put them towards college or something, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, Shardimus Prime, this is from, uh, ooh, this is 
Royal Mail. I think this is from the UK over here. All right, and let's see. It says there's a figure inside. I'm excited. I've got one other package after this one, and then we'll be all done and set. Ooh, what is this? Oh, what is it? Oh, it looks like a... Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to go ahead and read the letter first. And we have some art in here as well. Okay, I'm like unraveling this stuff and you cannot see it. Ooh, Spawn! Yeah, that is sick. Awesome, awesome. And we have the letter that says... Oh, Hi. Dear Shardimus Prime, I've been watching your videos for two years, and my favorite one is Rant Time with Shardimus Prime. Is it coming back? Please bring it back, goddamn scalpers! I've sent you, it's, that's how it reads, <laughs> I've sent you Star Wars Black Series 3 3 quarter inch figure, uh, but, uh, Bush, uh, uh Bastille, Bastilla Shar and a Lego Mark 42 Iron Man figure, and I drew you a spawn picture. I hope you like them, I do, and love your videos. Thanks so much, man. P.S. Action figures, not dolls. Ben Anderson. Thank you so much, man. This is really dope. I'm really digging that. And then let's open this up right over here. Um, damn, I was just actually thinking about it just the other day. I do need to do the rant time with Shardimus Prime again. I, I want to, and I have an idea for one. I just haven't done it yet, so I will very soon. And I'm getting the store room cleaned up more and more, so my Marvel Legends Collector documentary is like starting to form in my brain, which ha has to happen first before I start recording anything, but wow, this Lego Iron Man is really cool. I actually did uh, buy my first real Lego set, and that is the Avengers Tower, which I will be reviewing this week. So for those of you that have been wanting me to review Legos all this time, it will finally happen. Ooh, I am not familiar with this character, but she does look cool. Especially because she has a double-edged lightsaber. Wow, I know there ain't Jedi that... I, I know Maul does, but not any Jedi with a double-edged lightsaber. And yellow, too. I didn't know anybody had a yellow lightsaber. Wow. Well, it's like not... Is this Clone Wars part? Uh, I, I don't know. Or is this... I don't know. Is she part of... Someone tell me who this character is all about. I, I don't really know anything about her. But she does seem very badass. Yeah, alright, cool. Thank you so much, man. Right on. I'm going to put these aside. I'm going to add this guy to my Avengers Tower once I get that all built and everything. I'm excited for Avengers Age of Ultron. I cannot wait. Okay, and then lastly right here, this is from Kenneth from Alabama. I've been to Alabama before. Heflin. You know where Heflin is? I've been to Heflin, Alabama. My friend Isaiah called it has been Heflin because Heflin was basically like a street. Or from what we saw anyway, it seemed like it was just the one street. But we played an awesome show over there. And I like these boxes that come in perfect cubes. That's pretty neat. Anyway. Oh, we got another tape right over here. And what is this? Please do not use knife on these. Hey, I was mailing you these sample painted pieces themed with things I know you would appreciate. I've been a long time watcher and subscriber. I was wondering if you could open these on your P.O. Box pickup show. My Facebook is... Tick E Jester Custom Art, and these are just one type of item I would offer to customizers on my Facebook or on my page. Thanks. And then there's his name right there. Tiki Jester Tiki Jester Custom. Yeah. Alright, so Tiki Jester Custom Art. Alright, let's see what this is. So we've got some paper right here. I'm very, very curious to see what's going on over here. He said, please don't use any scissors or, or don't cut. So this is all nicely, loosely wrapped so I don't have to do anything like that. What is, oh, nice. Oh, I got some custom cubes. Ah, oh, neat. Oh, wow, this is very interesting, man. Huh. Check this out. Wow, these are like, oh cool, these are like specially painted cubes. Just told you guys how I like cubes. Oh, we got spider webbing right over there. Got Spidey himself looking very McFarlane-like. I think we saw this side. Nice, and it says Spider-Man. And brick wall right there. Huh, pretty cool, man, pretty cool. And then similar thing going on with all these smaller ones. Spider Sense, and I guess you, oh, you put all these together, and it'll say, uh, Spider-Man. Some more webbing. Cool. Showing little quick glimpses of all four of these. Let's see if I can get it all built over here. 
make it say Spider-Man really quick. Uh, wait, oh, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, now I got them all lined up. Wait, uh, uh, okay, there we go. So that's uh, that's how they are all lined up with the webbing. There's the brick. Here's it saying Spider-Man, and here's the black webbing. Cool. And then the Spider-Man faces are just on the inside of these, so you can't really see them. Right on, man. Nice. Dig that. And then, is this something else right here? Yeah, oh, no, that's it. Right on, man. Very cool idea. I don't know. I didn't see this coming. Yeah, nice wooden blocks right over here. Very cool stuff. Very nice art, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, so check that out. It's at Trick uh, Tiki Jester Custom Art. Right on. Thanks so much, you guys, for sending your letters and artwork. Please, uh, if you have letters and artwork, please send them to P.O. Box, or Shardimus Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.